you for joining us. I'm Joseph. And I'm Ray. And this is your weekly edition of Lancer's News. So mark your calendars. Picture makeups will be on Monday, October 16th. If you need to retake your pictures, don't forget to bring your smiles. Remember Lancer's, October 20th is a no school day. While we're enjoying the day off, our teachers and the staff will be working hard at work during their professional learning day. And here's a recap of one of our recent school events. Our campus was filled with pets during the annual Blessing of the Animals. Father Miguel offered a prayer for our pets in our parking lot. Here's Galvin, Lila, and Juliana with a look at the day. And how long have you had your dog for? Um, Santa brought uh, my dog. I think we've had her for five or six years. And you know your dog today? Um, she's a mix. But, but what was interesting about her was when Santa brought her, she picked up a basketball. And she shot it and she made it. Crazy, huh? <laughs> and we also had our first movie night, where families pulled out their chairs and blankets to spend the evening underneath the stars on our lawn. And we also had our fall pep rally. We were able to celebrate our school spirit. ASC organized games and our coaches introduced our teams, from football to the cheerleaders performing. Here's Dominic, Kehlani, Omar, and Jaden. So there's a lot that goes into making the pep rally, especially a lot behind the scenes, like making the posters and planning the script with all the games. And if you haven't noticed, the Snack Shack is back. Our fifth graders are working hard, raising money for their sixth grade camp. Snack Shack will be every Wednesday, so don't forget your money. And now here's your local and world news. The County Water Authority has released its forecast for water year 2024. They say we're starting the year with a surplus, but they're asking everybody to continue doing their part in conserving water. Officials say our region is able to tap into a number of resources to get water from the Colorado River, the snow packs, the snow packs up north, and the Carlsbad desalination plant. A new master plan for San Diego City Library System is getting an upgrade. There will be three new branches, eight rebuilds, and seven branch expansions. There is a question about funding. A proposed tax would raise $250 million to pay for new parks and libraries. In Balboa Park, a new exhibit opens at the Air and Space Museum. The Breaking Barriers exhibit honors pioneering black American aviators and astronauts. This will be an extension to the mu museum salute to the Tuskegee Airmen. Several men and women will be featured dating back to the 1930s. On Saturday, the JV football team defeated St. Didicus 35-0. Noah Vasquez had three touchdowns, and Matthew Parra had a touchdown. The varsity team lost to Modern Day 20-0. The JV team improved to 2-0, while the varsity fell. Hey Joseph, are you excited about the literature project? Yeah, what book are you doing? I'm doing a long walk to water. How about you? I'm doing Treasure Island. The seventh graders have been working hard on our literature projects. Many projects will be shown on October 16th, like Treasure Island and Jungle Book. Have a good day and, and go, go Lancers! Lancers.